All right, yo, what's going on, people? It's a beautiful day out here. A little bit cloudy, but it ain't raining on me just yet. So I'm gonna get this video in right quick. I got a few things to say. So, how to attract things into your life verbally. So, if you're the type of person where you love to talk or you're looking for a way to get what you want, well, I'm gonna offer a way that I use that's worked for me to attract things into your life that you want. So, if you're the type of person who wants something and you wanna learn how to verbally attract that, check it out. All right, so, verbally attracting things into your life that you want. Verbally demanding from your environment, from the universe, whatever you wanna call it, right? Whatever religion you follow, works the same, right? Or at least in my experience. So I'm gonna share a little bit about my story and how I came across this. So, me as a child, ever since I was about maybe five, six years old, I would talk to myself. Full-blown conversations. Remsen talking to Remsen. I had questions and answers. These are the type of conversations and the type of behavior that somebody might put you in a mental, uh, a mental institution for, <laughs> okay? Some people thought would, or would think it's full out crazy, but there was a method behind it. You can call it only child syndrome, you can call it whatever you want, but this was my learning process. This was how I processed the environment around me. And so it took me a really long time to be able to relate to other people and confide in other people. I didn't start developing a social life until I was 15, 16 years old, and even then it was a struggle. So if you heard me in the middle of these conversations, you would think I was either on the phone or someone else was in the room. <laughs> okay, that's how detailed it was, that's how real it was. So, I had these internal conversations back and forth, right, Remsen bouncing ideas off of Remsen to Remsen and back and, back and so on, right? So, I did this, you know, throughout my childhood and throughout my teen years and in my early adult years even until the current day and time. Of course, the way that I do it now, it's a lot different than the way I used to, okay? But here's something that's very interesting. When I was younger and I was in a bad mood, I would rant. It would be very negative speech, very angry speech, right? And, and what happened was it would change my mindset to view whatever I was talking about very negatively. And then I would respond and behave towards that thing very negatively. So if I was mad at mom, I'd talk about mom, say all the things I don't like about mom, and then I, my behavior towards mom would follow suit. And my mother wouldn't like my attitude, and she would respond to me with the negative energy that I was giving her, or she wouldn't respond to me at all if she was in a positive place. Interesting. But now if I had very good speech, very encouraging, positive speech and good things to say about mom, I'd get along with mom tremendously. Mom would give me things, help me, teach me things, right? And I would get a lot of good out of mom. And it's the same thing with the people around me. If I talked about how much I enjoyed going to school, how much I learned in school, and how much I was looking forward to acing this exam, I would go to school and have a great day, make new friends, People would be way nicer than usual. I'd ace my exams. Great grades straight across the board, right? Put more effort into my schoolwork. So these are the kind of things that happen from the reinforcement of, of verbal attraction. Your verbal demand from your environment. And the thing is, is that what you express verbally, if you tell yourself something enough, you start to believe it. And your beliefs are a big part of your mindset, right? It's kind of like if I'm lifting weight in the gym and I'm going for a PR, I've never lifted this amount of weight before and it is extremely heavy. I can think, well, let's we'll see what happens. Or I can think, all right, I'm gonna pull the crap out of this thing and lock solid, best lift you could possibly do. Or I can think, oh, I don't know, this looks a little heavy, I might hurt myself, right? What do you think is a more effective mindset for being able to lift that weight? What do you think is more 
uh, empowering? What do you think is more encouraging? Right? And the thing is, is that the energy that you put out, it works like a boomerang. If you get a handball or a nice Super Bowl and you stand four feet away from the, from, the, from the wall, I can't talk. And you stand four feet away from the wall and you throw that Super Bowl as hard as you can at the wall, <clears throat> at eye level, chances are that Super Bowl is gonna bounce right off that wall and hit you right in your face. That's kind of how your energy that you project works. It's the same way if you walk around the street and you walk up to somebody you, have, you don't know at all and you take that hand, you cut that hand back, whap, and you slap them right in their face, they might turn around and slap you just as hard, if not harder. Right? This is why we don't walk around punching people in the face when we're mad, right? Because we don't want to get punched in the face. So now if you don't want to attract negativity towards you, if you don't want to attract failure towards you, why would you put that energy out? Why would you speak negativity? Why would you speak failure? Why would you do that, right? If you don't want to fail, why would you speak failure right back? Why would you throw failure right at that wall at eye level so failure can bounce right off that wall and hit you right in your face? You wouldn't, right? Or at least not consciously. So basically, I took that Super Bowl and the wall and I used that metaphor and I just reframed it. And that's what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta reframe what you're doing. You gotta create a larger frame of how you see things. So now, from watching this video, you're gonna look at failure and, and verbal uh, expressions of failure, verbal expressions of negativity a lot different now because it has a lot more power. And so that's really the thing, right? It, it, it has a lot more power power but so does positive speech so does empowerment so does encouraging speech think about if you wanted to get along with everyone around you or you wanted to be surrounded by strong powerful successful people how would you behave would you be low energy negative quiet standoffish how would you be or would you be encouraging, inviting, humble? Would you give people a pat on the back? I really appreciate what you did yesterday. I really appreciate how you just did that. You know you're really good at A, B, and C. I'd like you to share with me how you've gotten so good at doing that. Wow, you're amazing. I really appreciate your company. Imagine if you was to express that kind of energy towards people. What, what do you think you'd get back? Right? I mean, think about it. If somebody treated you like gold, how do you think they would respond? So, and it's the same thing with anything, right? If you, if you want to get in shape, you want to get healthy, would you say... I'm tired of this, I don't feel like doing this. This is taking too long. Would you speak that? What do you think you would get back from that kind of speech? Because chances are, if you focus on how much you do, how much you don't want it, or how much you don't want to do something, chances are you're not gonna do it. But if you focus on how much you appreciate it and how much you want to do it, you're more likely to do it. You're more likely to stay on track. But all of these thoughts can be expressed verbally. And the thing is, is that it helps you get your mindset together when you train it verbally. At least that's what works for me. So when I go on my walks now, for an hour long, I'm game planning, I'm strategizing, I'm encouraging myself. I'm understanding the concepts of life. I'm, I'm, I'm dialing in my perceptions to get the results that I want. I say, all right, cool, today this is what we got on the agenda. This is what I'm gonna do today. This is what's gonna get done. I'm excited about this. I appreciate that. And I'm gonna make the most out of it today, tomorrow, and every day after. I'm on the right track. 
I have everything I need to succeed at everything I do. I am strong, I am wealthy, I have a mindset of abundance. I am unbreakable. And what I want to do is I want to transfer that onto everyone around me so that we can all bask in the freedom of knowing that we stand as gods on this planet, confident and humble, walking a straight path between the two. There's no ego, there's no arrogance. There's only love and prosperity. Just from you hearing that, how does that make you feel? What are the ideas that are in your mind right now? If you have a negative mindset, chances are you're probably like, this guy is full of crap. I'm not watching this video anymore. But, it, but if you want and you desire positivity, success, you want understanding, you're a good person, those words will resonate with you. You will agree. You'll look at me in a different light. And when you say those words, you'll look at yourself in a different light. And when you repeat them daily, and you start to believe them, everyone around you and everything around you will react in a way that is in alignment with that. So in closing, <laughs> speak it repetitively so that you may train your mind and when you train your mind, you then train your behavior. When you train your behavior, you can tailor your behavior so that it attracts what you want. Your behavior is spoken into existence. So your words, and your behavior run in alignment and what you attract will be like your words and your behavior and that is how it's done